Today I'm doing a product review on the Browning Huntsman 360 degree swivel seat. This is a, a first impression, honest product review. I've never owned one of these before, now, but you see the tape's still on the box. Thank you for clicking on a Spikes and Gills YouTube video. If this is your first time here, and you're interested in hunting, fishing, anything to do with outdoors, interested in product reviews on hunting and fishing gear, and you're just interested in entertainment in the hunting, fishing industry in general, why don't you please click the word subscribe so you'll follow the Spikes and Gills YouTube channel and you'll be notified of future uploads. I bought this a couple weeks ago. It took about two weeks to be shipped to my house, and it's the Huntsman. 360 degree swivel hunting seat by Browning. It has adjustable legs, which was a selling point for me. And it's a very big, comfortable looking seat. It's This is going to be the most comfortable hunting seat I've ever owned. I've always bought in those inexpensive $15 seats that were like triangle shaped on the bottom and had a very uncomfortable backrest. It always hurt my lower back and, and my buttocks and everything. It was, they were just super uncomfortable. And I would sit for four to six hours at a time in these chairs. So it, and being older now and just have my back isn't young anymore, I decided to spend a little more money on something more comfortable, more practical for an older hunter like me. I spent somewhere between 90 and and $100 for this chair. Yes, that's a lot of money for a hunting chair. But I spent that on my hunting blind, too, come to think of it. So for $200, I've got everything I need, uh, minus the bow and clothing and all that stuff. But, but I've got everything I need to set up my sit spot for my deer hunts. Let's open this box. See what we got. It's like Christmas, man. It's Christmas every day in Spikes and Gills world. I'm always buying. Oh, my wife is hating it. I never hear the end of it from my wife because I'm constantly buying hunting gear. Yeah, she don't like it. Yes, sir. Nope, some styrofoam stuff. Alright, what do we got here? I thought... It felt heavier in the box, but that's not, not too bad. It does come with, from what I read on the packaging and on the product reviews online, it does come with carrying strap for easy transport. Oh! <laughs> See, you can tell that I've never owned one of these before because these legs are held in with a Velcro strap. I just found that out by process of elimination. Now here I was struggling to get these legs off here. And it had, they were strapped in. I had, had not a clue. I just found it by chance. Oh, there's another one here. Yeah, so, it, well that's nifty. So here's the adjustable legs for the chair. It's pretty sturdy feeling. I probably should be reading the instructions on how to use this, but it looks pretty easy. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Looks like they lock. Okay, that's to... All right, so... You push this middle piece right here in the center of these legs up or down to, to move your legs out or in. To pack it up, you push down. It folds up like this for... And then you Velcro strap it onto the chair and grab your carrying strap move head on in or out or whichever you're doing whether you're going hunting or leave to adjust the let has these little little locks here these little finger tab lock things flip up to move the leg out wait how do you uh well that's locked that's unlocked oh i think you ah yeah has a twisty lock. You twist it to push it in, push this tab down to lock the leg. 
flip the tab up to pull it down and you can lock it in place. Yeah. So, nice. Wonder if you can lock that. I'm not sure you can lock that. Seems like it might be loud sometimes. And it has a has a cotter pin thing here that you pull this the lock out. Pull the pin out so you can adjust your seat height. So you can adjust the height of your seat or the height of your legs. You can, you can adjust the legs for your uneven ground. You can be sitting on a slant and be level by adjusting your legs. So it doesn't matter. And that, that was a selling point for me with this chair. Was I, I'm always, well, the majority of the hunters out there are setting up on uneven ground with little rocks or stumps in the way, or roots, or just the ground is uneven in general. So I, it's very helpful to have a chair that you can adjust to accommodate for that uneven ground so you can stay level. And that was a huge selling point for me. The, and you can adjust the height of your chair. This is great. Oh, I just lost my pin. I'm talking with my hand. So you can move your chair up, put your cotter pin back in through the hole to lock it in place. Then you use this, that locks it. So it locks your... It does seem loud though. But I haven't sat on it. I th I'm sure with the weight of your body sitting on it, it makes it quiet. You can silence all these pieces though, I notice. I could put moleskin, I could tape this up, put a little bit of moleskin or something to silence this. Or you can uh, dip it in, you could dip it in something too, that, like a coating. Looking at it, in the other reviews, in the online reviews I've read, some of the comments were that it was kind of noisy, but it looks like you can silence it. If you know what you're doing and you get the right materials, you can silence all the noisy parts and pieces. I'm noticing that. I wouldn't worry about a little bit of noise because you can take care of that yourself. See, it look, it's very comfortable feeling. Very spacious. Oh, wow. It's pretty nice, actually. Oh yeah, so you screw the chair onto the base by taking these little threaded screws out. You got these. Take all these out. But you only have to do this once a season, really, if you leave your hunting blind out, out there in that one spot. The chair's, you know, somewhat heavy. It's not, it's not a very light chair. There's a lot of work in setting it up. But if you do it months in advance and go set it up in your, in your ambush location for your deer hunt, you only got to carry it out once. All right, so the base. I've never owned one of these before. So how do you do this? I guess. So I got all the screws in. There she is. Huh. Nice. Let's give it a try. Oh, that, no, it's quiet. Oh, that's real quiet. Oh, it does. Oh, nice. 360 degrees turn. That, I just went around 360 degrees. Listen real closely. You hear anything? Oh, it is. Oh, I love this chair. Oh. I could take a nap in it. This is very comfortable. This is just what I wanted. Yeah. 
I almost bought some other chair, but I'm liking it. It's the it's the seat height, adjustable legs to accommodate for the uneven ground. 360 degrees. Yeah, it's like oh fuck. Oh, it's just a red squirrel. There she be. The brown, the first one I've ever owned. I cannot wait to get it out there in my hunting blind. The blind's already set up. Now we got to carry this out and put it in. So that way I'll be all set for a month from now. I've had the blind set up for like a month and a half before opening day. I've got to get sneak this in and get this into in, in there. I'm gonna I'm going to uh, spray this down real like liberally with scent eliminator spray. Maybe leave it outside for a bit and spray it down with scent eliminator so that I can get all the human odor off of it but just before I bring it into the hunting blind. Yeah, pretty cool. Spikes and Gills vlogs on Wednesdays and Spikes and Gills episodes every Sunday. Don't forget to click that word subscribe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so remember.